What's up? Welcome back to another episode of SmackDown Live Recap. And to a fun live recap. That'll be later on. But, of course, SmackDown started off with, um... Charlotte. Charlotte, yep. Yeah. Since she saw what, since we all saw what happened yesterday on Raw, having Becky Lynch being suspended until she goes to the do uh, go to the doctors, Charlotte thought she should be the one that challenged Ronda Rousey. But yeah. out comes Becky Lynch showing up, and then we have the security guards coming out because she's suspended, and then we have Triple H himself showing up, and he's saying that Becky Lynch should be going home. And go to the doctors if she wants to have her fight with Ronda Rousey. And then Becky says, how's your wife? And then Triple H ends up saying, you know why you don't want to go see the doctor? It's because you're scared. Scared that you're gonna, that um, Ronda Rousey's going to destroy her. And all that. Yeah. Stare her down and then Becky leaves. And now for our actual first match. Is an unlikely pairing of Rusev and Nakamura versus Gallows and Anderson. Yep. This is a pretty weird match. Um, I mean, the way how it, it is. Because Rusev and Nakamura had a rivalry, but the only thing... Th and the only reason why they're teaming up together is because they both hated R-Truth. And Gallows and Anderson, for some apparent reason... Are defending our truth, so that's why they're fighting them. Yeah, Russo won the team. Won for the team, and I don't know what did he do. I don't know. Yeah, but, it's very forgettable. But the only thing that you actually remember Russo. is Lon is going back to dressing up like the ravishing, ravishing Russian. Why did I say Russian? Yeah, she definitely looks like how she was in the beginning. Um. But Rusev lays Nakamura's and Montana is a little celebrated in the ring. So they're the new Rusev day? I guess so. <laughs> then we have Mustafa Ali, who's Randy Orton. Yeah. I mean, Ali put up a big fight. He put up a big fight. But ended up being an RKO out of nowhere. So and then out comes Samoa Joe doing the Coquina Clutch. To Randy Orton. After Randy won, Joe came out of nowhere and did the clutch. That's what Joe's been doing a lot lately. He's been just showing up in random matches and just choking people out. Yep. And then he kicked, make sure Ali stayed outside the ring, so he kicked him. And then Dave Ryan came out with Rowan, and Joe looks and then he walks, but then Rowan comes out with Dave Ryan. And he just, he's like, he's like, do so. That's all Joe has been doing. He's just been freaking choking people choking out. Choking people out and saying he's going to win, pretty much. Then we actually have another um, women's um, uh, tag team uh, match so that they are, end up going into the elimination chamber. Carmella and Naomi. The Iconics, and then Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville. Yeah, about Carmella and Naomi. I, before Carm um, Naomi said their knee name, I was like, Fabulous was glad when she said it. I was like, ah, I knew it. And you thought that the Iconics are going to win this um, match. I thought it because they're the only real team in it. And that Naomi and Mandy have that rivalry. Yeah. But surprising. Mandy and Sonya Deville actually win. And Mandy Rose pinned Naomi. Naomi, she did the rear view to Peyton Royce. And then Rose to Peyton. And then um, Mandy Rose lifted up Naomi and like slammed her to the mat and pinned her for the win. Mm. And then for our main event. Jeff Hardy versus Daniel Bryan. Yeah, well, before that uh, match, Daniel Bryan first said that um, he pretty much was just um, saying that he shouldn't have to defend his title against five, five other men. 
Um, but no one understands him as champion. He he's you know as a planet champion or something. Plant champion. What are you saying? What is he, Captain Planet now? Oh man. Oh, new Brian is gonna stay the new champion. Till WrestleMania. Oh yeah, here's the thing. End up being a DQ match. Uh, this end up being a DQ because Jeff Hardy was doing well. He did um the um, what's that Swanton bomb, mm -hmm. and he was gonna pin. Rowan pulled him out. And that and the ref saw it and it called the DQ. And here's and the then, thing. Yeah, pulled him out. So and lo and behold. Uh, Daniel Bryan gets Kokina clutched by Samoa Joe. Well, before that, um, Rowan threw Hardy to the stairs and threw him back in, and then there was the LaBelle lock by Daniel Bryan, and then Joe came in and did the Kahino clutch on Bryan. Then Randy Orton showed up. And then there was back and forth action between Joe and Randy. Then we see Mustafa Ali show up. He actually goes to the top, uh, to the ter top turnbuckle, and does a missile drop kick to both. Um, was it Orton and Joe? Mm hmm And then comes, to, then cut, hits Styles is damn song. And he shows up, and he actually ends up fighting. But then Daniel Bryan and Rowan start uh, running away. They yep. ran. They ran back to the back, uh, back to the um, locker room. Yep. Why? And then the, yeah, and then the interview person showed up, and, and Daniel Bryan's like, "I didn't run. I did it all by myself. Rowan, I didn't need Rowan. Yeah, he didn't. I need Rowan. did it all, all by myself. He, I'm the champion. Now I'm gonna go and smoke and cut a piece off my belt and smoke it. I I'll have a victory toke. Uh, but um. Yeah, that pretty much was SmackDown, really. Um. Oh, you two eventually we It's pretty much like, how did you feel at SmackDown? Like, do you do you do you think Dan Bryan's gonna win uh, next Sunday? You know how I felt about this SmackDown? What? Tired. <laughs> it was like not that much. I mean, probably the best match. I don't even know. A big shot. See, you don't even you see you can't even pick a good match out of tonight because there yeah. technically wasn't. The only surprising thing was the um the women's uh, triple tag team match. That was a surprise. Yeah, that one. Because Sonya Deville and Mandy Rose, they've been kind of like nobodies ever since Paige um had to retire. And actually, this is actually counts as an actual uh, legit victory. Surprise! To actually see that Mandy can actually do uh, can actually that actually pull off a thing. I think she did a clever little uh, uh, deception. She makes everybody think that she's a diva. She's not really one of the f the fighters. She's just there for looks. And then when nobody expects it and everybody doubts her, that's when she actually goes all out. Yeah. She makes you think that she can't fight, and then in the ring, she can actually do fight. Yeah, but I still don't like her. <laughs> I, know, I don't even know how anybody can like her. Unless they um, have a box of tissue, t uh, tissues with them. That's guys. And some girls. Yeah. You don't know. Ugh. Don't be... Don't leave out everybody out. Uh, anyway... But that was SmackDown. Let us know how you like SmackDown, and we'll see you next time on SmackDown. Bye. Bye. Hello, and we're back with another recap. Well, it's the ending of SmackDown to 205 Live recap. Now, okay. First match when I started with Mike Canales, of course, coming with. His wife, Maria Canales, but it was Mike Canales was Brian Kendrick. And, um, ended up really being Brian Kendrick winning that match. And Maria's all mad. She's just looking at Brian Kendrick like, what a fierce look going into the ring. Tell him, like, it's okay. 
being like, because it was like, I guess Mike not ever getting a chance or whatever. But how Brian Kendrick won that. Um, Mike did a strong boot and then Kendrick ran to like he did the corner and he did like a flip slam for the win. I don't know, remember what that man was called, but he like ran and slipped. But that's how he won any. That was sad. And then, um, what's his name? Drake Maverick. He was talking with, um, Drew Gulak, just saying about what's happening, whatever, and whatnot. And then they just got furious. He just got furious and walked away. And then Noem Dar came, and he's just pretty much saying that he wants Tony Nese next week, and if he does get it, he'll find somewhere else to get him. Because Drake Maverick um, said he uh, suspended him. But no end there. Made Drake Maverick decided that next week it's going to be Tony Nese versus no end there and a no DQ match. So that's going to be next week. And then it's the main event uh, Fate of Four Way Elimination. To who, the winner faces Murphy at Elimination Chamber. It's Cedric Alexander versus Humberto Carrillo versus Akira Tawaza versus Annoying Leo Rush. Now, Leo Rush is like, I already beat Akira Tawaza two times. And then Humberto, and he goes, I don't know you, whoever you are, Humberto. And Cedric Alexander is like, You didn't beat me? And Leo was just saying, but that's funny. I mean, they all put their, they all did pretty well in the ring. Humberto, pretty good. Kira, of course. Cedric, of course. And Leo Rush being a baby, running away, trying not to get hurt. But the first elimination was Leo Annoying Rush, eliminated by a lumberjack by Cedric Alexander. And then, so I'll end up being a triple set down. And then, the second elimination got was Humberto. He got eliminated by the jumping set die by Akira. Because they were all in the corner and Cedric got pushed outside of the ring. And Akira pushed, like, or kicked Humberto down and did the jumping set die for the win for that elimination. Then you got one on one, Cedric and Akira. They're, of course, facing Cedric, saying, This is his time, blah, blah, blah. And Alexander got eliminated by a jumping some type by Akira. First, well, first he did the inverted Rana move, and then he did the jump th- jumping some die. But Akira Tawaza won. So he's going to be facing Buddy Murphy at Elimination Chamber. And, of course, Buddy Murphy's on the Titron saying, looking through. Great. Wow. Good job, Akira. But all I know is, this is going to be the greatest of all time with me. Because I'm the best. Whatever. And he goes, see you at the chamber, Akira. And then it went away, and he continued celebrating in the ring. But that was two of five live. Um, if you watched it, what did you like about it? Did you actually like this Fatal Four Way match? I mean, this that Fatal Four Way match was really, really, really good, especially with Cedric as and Humberto and Akira. Lee Rush, I don't like him so. I mean, if it looked like he was totally a baby, like he didn't want to get hurt or. He tried, and then he, once it didn't, then he attacks, like, but, it's like, for that match. I'm actually, interesting, Kira never had the title before, so maybe he'll get his chance on getting the title. Um, are you a fan of Mike Canales? Are you upset that he's actually not really getting a push up there? That he's not winning, whatnot. Um, 
I'm excited for next week. That's going to be Noem Dar versus Tony Nisa, no DQ match. That might be an interesting match. Might be people coming in. Might be weapons. You never know. So, um, that's pretty much it. That's uh, 205 Live. So, um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time on 205 Live. Bye.